This video was produced based on lectures, films, and books by Ilchi Lee from the year 2010 until the present. All matter originates and exists only by virtue of a force which brings the particle of an atom to vibration and holds this most minute solar system of the atom together. We must assume behind this force the existence of a conscious and intelligent mind. This mind is the matrix of all matter. An important characteristic that makes human beings human is curiosity. As beings that think, discover, and create, we have brought about the advancement of civilization as it exists today. The deep exploration of the inner world of consciousness has created a spiritual tradition that includes philosophy and religion, and the continuous investigation of the external world has led to the development of science and technology. Who am I? Where did we begin? What is everything in the world, including the human body, composed of? In the process of finding the source of existence, the most common method we used was splitting matter into the smallest pieces. If you keep zooming in and magnifying all matter, including human cells, you get to molecules, atoms, protons, neutrons, and electrons. Most of the space between these tiny particles, which are invisible to the eye, is empty. Quantum physics in the 20th century revealed that the smallest units of light and matter possesses the properties of particles and waves at the same time. The world at the base of reality is empty space, and ultimately, energy. Nothing exists except atoms and empty space. Everything else is opinion. 99.99% of all physical matter consists of vacuum. The place where life all begins is empty space. It is at once the smallest, yet the largest, and is also the largest, yet the smallest. It is the ultimate energy. This is the beginning and the end of what is both the micro world and the macro world. In the East, this energy is called Ghi. It is believed this energy creates substances and phenomena, and the determining agent is none other than the human mind. This is the principle of Shim Ki Hyul Jong. It means that where the mind goes, Ki energy follows, and where Ki energy gathers, substances and forms are made. This principle is akin to the process of gathering sunlight with a magnifying glass to start a fire. That is the power of the mind. When you concentrate and collect your mind, energy gathers, and here blood and matter are formed, creating something from nothing. This is the place where mind and matter come together. The Eastern philosophy idea that a human mind creates matter from empty spaces seems to correlate with the Western science understanding that human consciousness affects material manifestation. Just as David Joseph Bohm, one of the most important theoretical physicists of the 20th century has said, what is clear is that we are all pulsating quantum energy that started in empty space and that we have a unique quantum wave field. The small atoms in the micro world emit their unique vibration that matches their frequency or electromagnetic waves. 
The vibrations of so many atoms have ultimately created the visible, macroscopic world that encompasses me and my body. In one of the oldest sacred texts of the Korean people, Sam Il Shin Go, there is this phrase. Teachings on Heaven That blue sky is not heaven, and that dark empty space is not heaven. Heaven has no face or base, no beginning or end, no top or bottom, and no boundaries. Although it seems empty, it is completely full. There is no place where heaven is absent, and there is nothing that heaven doesn't embrace. Although we only see what is visible to the eye, it seems that the wisdom of thousands of years ago already knew the scientific truth that this world in which we live is empty. What's more interesting, however, is that the emptiness is full even while being seemingly empty. This states the contradiction that the space of the universe, an empty vacuum, is not a state of emptiness, as we have said until now, but a state of complete fullness. Here, we'll use an example, one hypothesis that is currently under discussion, the zero-point field hypothesis. Scientists have found that vast amounts of energy are latent even in the vacuum of the empty universe. This is represented by what cosmophysics refer to as cosmic inflation. According to this theory, the universe did not exist 13.8 billion years ago. There was only the quantum vacuum. However, one day, the quantum vacuum suddenly shook and the universe was born through rapid expansion and explosion. In this way, the quantum vacuum contains a tremendous amount of energy, enough to produce a huge universe. The hypothesis drawing attention is that an infinite energy field exists in the quantum vacuum where all the past, present, and the future universe is recorded. Some scholars say that the place may have a deep connection with the zero-point field. The reason why this place is called the zero-point field is that even at negative 273.15 Celsius, or absolute zero, where the motion of particles is zero, waves can still be measured. Philosopher of science, Dr. Irvin Laszlo described the zero-point field as an endless sea of possibilities with sweeping waves of energy. In the spiritual traditions, the zero-point field is a warehouse of endless information. It is also called the space of the soul, where life begins, and the mind of God. This is the symbolic space where the eternal life, salvation, and nirvana spoken of in religions can be attained. What matters is, it is the human mind that connects with this place to exert strong power. Based on the zero-point field hypothesis, because the human mind is connected to the zero-point field and the quantum level through energy, we are able to send and receive information to and from the zero-point field. The quantum brain hypothesis is another hypothesis that supports the zero-point field hypothesis. The quantum brain hypothesis is also an attempt to explain communication between human consciousness and the brain. It proposes that quantum processes are deeply involved in the functioning of our brain. Should these studies, which still exist as hypotheses, reach clear conclusions, they would shed new light on whether the mind really stems from the workings of the brain and demonstrate a new and valuable function of the mind, that it interacts with the zero-point field. These discoveries will offer a new paradigm at a time when our civilization is shifting. The power of the mind to create matter and phenomena. 
Is there a formula for the mind to work? Can the human mind change reality? In August 2009, a Korean broadcast conducted a time travel experiment for senior citizens in their 70s and older. For this, the subjects gathered in a small village in Gyeonggi-do, and for one week, they were to think and talk only about what happened 20 years ago, before August 1989. The environment where they were immersed was completely decorated with things from 20 years before. And even the TV and newspapers provided were also from that time period. Participants were asked to wear name tags with their photos from 20 years before. After a week had passed, the doctors performed a thorough examination of the participants. They could not hide their surprise at the results. In every aspect they measured, such as grip strength, arm and leg muscle strength, eyesight, hearing, blood pressure, cholesterol, etc., the seniors' bodies had become shockingly more youthful. Moreover, the participants showed an increase in cognition. It seems like a dream, but is it even possible? The experiment mirrored the counterclockwise experiment conducted by Ellen Langer of Harvard University in 1979 in New Hampshire, in the United States, with elderly subjects aged 75 or older. The experiment became a hot topic, and in 2010, with the advice of Professor Langer, the BBC summoned six celebrities from 30 years prior. In a program called The Young Ones, a male star who had been popular in his youth but had developed mobility issues came out on stage and tap danced. A former news anchor who had needed a cane to walk was able to climb the stairs to the stage without one. Medical examination results showed that their bodies had actually become more youthful. The principle at work was, if your mind is filled with images of youthful vitality, your body will also become youthful. The mind creates reality. You can reverse your biological age by changing your perceptions. The quality of our self-esteem determines how we age. Our perception of our bodies as fields of energy or fields of matter influence how our body ages. The power of the mind has a strong effect in cancer treatment as well. Dr. Simonton and his wife, cancer treatment experts in the United States, analyzed the causes of cancer in various ways and cited the mind as the most important factor for cancer. Dr. Simonton found the therapeutic effects of meditation and visualization training significant for treating cancer. According to the data, they conducted training for 159 terminal cancer patients for 15 minutes, three times a day, in which they practiced meditation and visualization of their body's white blood cells eating up cancer cells. The training resulted in an average life expectancy of the group of 24.4 months, more than double that of the 12-month average of the control group that did not participate in meditation. In 14 cases, 23% of the total, the cancer was cured, and 51% of the cancer patients said that their quality of life had actually improved. How does the power of the mind work so impressively? There is a consistent formula for it. Wherever the mind goes, gi energy or energy waves go together. This affects the nervous system and triggers the release of hormones or neurotransmitters, resulting in behavioral changes as well as physical and psychological changes. In this way, disease starts from the mind and must be healed from the mind. The mind is, in essence, energy waves. And this is what has tremendous power 
to effect change. This power of the mind is manifested at an unconscious level. The unconscious is expressed through words. This is why the power wielded by words is as great as the power of the mind. The human race today is going beyond the era of space exploration. Through new technologies, such as advancements in artificial intelligence and the creation of the metaverse, we can transcend time and space. We can develop a spiritual civilization in which the power of the mind creates reality. Science is discovering and proving all these things one by one and presenting new possibilities for the future. At this turning point of civilization, what will humankind choose? Will we live as separate individuals amid competition and conflict? Or will we awaken to the infinite value of human beings and be creators who use the power of the mind? Will we choose the, the red pill of collective destruction or the blue pill of, of harmonious coexistence? Will we embrace ignorance, failing to recognize our own true existential value? Or will we decide to get bright and light up the future with enlightenment? Does prayer bring about healing? If you want something desperately, will it happen? Where do we go when we die? Endless questioning and exploration about human existence. Spirituality and science, which are like two sides of a coin. With the paradigms of science, which change rapidly across the ages, what are the questions we must ask? The place where mind meets matter. What is the way to access the infinite energy field of the universe and actualize thoughts into reality? The boundary between human and divinity. Special documentary, The Way to Coexistence, part two, spirituality and science.